through our different personal journeys. Kiki Wong and I have come to the same conclusion. We believe that what is needed most to create a science of international psychology, we need two cornerstones or two pillars. The first one is indigenous psychology. The second one is the existential psychology about human nature, about true human nature. This may be the most important hypothesis to advance global well-being and world harmony. And we hope that this hypothesis will appeal to both East and West. Let me explain my two points. First, regarding indigenous psychology, in a sense, all cultures are indigenous. No culture should claim to be the most dominant in teaching psychology, better than everybody else. Okay. At present, Eurocentric psychology or the weird psychology seem to dominate the entire field of psychological science. Graduate schools, textbooks, textbooks, professors, journals in the West are all steeped, steeped in the tradition of Western psychology. To make the situation worse, international students come from different parts of the world and train in the West. They were shaped and indoctrinated in the Western tradition. So therefore, when they return to their own country, unwittingly, they serve as the forces to colonize every, every other country so that the whole world will be conformed to the Western way of thinking and looking at the world. So this is not healthy for psychology and also not helpful to the practice of psychology. It's not good for the science of psychology because it's only one-sided. It only presents my view, the Western view about the world, about human behavior. Also, because it's full of Western biases about mental illness, about symptoms, about diagnosis. As a result, the psychiatry, of the clinical psychology trained in the Western tradition might not be helpful to the islanders in the Pacific area or to the native and to the Chinese. But that has been demonstrated again and again. So therefore, most people nowadays realize the need to decolonize psychology so that it will represent all people so that it will be equally helpful to our cultures.